Hello and welcome to Working with Flash and Safari, another edition of the JPS video series Apple Tips and Tricks. Many of you are having issues with your Flash coming up and saying it's not available, it's not updated, it's expired. Most of the time that is not the case. When you see a Flash and you download it once, it should last for at least a year. When Adobe Flash updates, unless it goes from like 9 to 10 or 10 to 11 or 11 to 12, it should work so for forever. So what we're going to show you is a way that you can help yourself make sure that it's just not being blocked by the browser. So the first thing we're going to do is go down here and we're going to launch Safari. Once I get my Safari up, I'm going to click on the word Safari and I'm going to hit Preferences. I'm going to go, it may launch in general, but I'm going to click over here and go to security. And I need the first thing I need to do is make sure that allow plugins is checked. As long as I know that, I'm good. I'm going to click manage website settings. I'm going to click on Adobe Flash. And then down here at the bottom, it says when visiting other websites, I'm going to say always allow. I'm going to do the same thing for Adobe Reader. I'm going to do the same thing for QuickTime, make sure it's always allow. Anything else over here that you know you want to be Java, you can kind of ask, because sometimes Java can be a little hinky, but I'm also going to leave my Java as asked. I don't want to block it for sure, but I'm going to leave it as ask. I'm going to click finish, done. I'm going to make sure that my block pop-up windows, you can uncheck that, that should help. Sometimes things will be blocked that you won't see them. I'm going to say unblock my pop-up windows. I'm going to close this window by clicking the red circle. I'm going to quit Safari. Then I'm going to launch it again and that will make sure that the settings that I just changed are in force. So again, if you're having trouble with Flash, don't assume it's not there. Even if you go to soft, even if the download comes up from Adobe and says you don't have the right version or whatever, just please check your preferences. Thanks, and have a great day.